It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click Hello, and thank you very much for joining me in the studio today. As you can see, we're going to be painting a bell pepper, or three bell peppers, in fact. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because one of my favorite things to eat on my new diet is roasted peppers um, in a Mediterranean vegetable. But I love roasted peppers, so I thought, I, I like those long ones, I forget what they call them now, but um, I've, only got some, I've only got some bell peppers there, so and I've only got one of them left, because I've had the rest. <laughs> anyway, that's what we're going to do today. Um, without further ado, let's have a look at the palette. Let's move my can of pop. So I've got some cardamom red, some burnt umber, some Mars black, some mid or cardamom yellow, and I've got some titanium white, and that is it. I'm using my medium mix, which is uh, this one, which is available on the website www.cly5art.co.uk. Also using some flow improver as well, just to aid the flow of paint. They're available at www.cly5art.co.uk. Dot co dot uk. I got a leak. There we are. So let's put that one by there. Um, and that just stops you in the binding of paint. That one helps the paint flow across the canvas. Got a selection of brushes today. There we go. I'm using some long handled ones as well. Yeah, and um, I got a couple of small ones there. I'll I'll talk about them as I proceed with this painting. Now. Um, I've taken the liberty of drawing um, a couple of these peppers out. I'll, I'll make these available for you. Um, I'll put them on the on the website at www.clay5art.co.uk. Um, so if you want to try this one, you can. What I found with these type of things is you don't have to be you don't have to go big scale. You don't have to be. Remember this as a beginner. You don't have to paint large canvases. You can get away with just painting small canvases. And if if selling is your thing, this is a way to go. Something very, very simple and basic, like uh, peppers or like cups and saucers or anything like that, really sell well. So if you want to earn yourself some money, give it a shot. That's what I say. Okay, so I'm going to pick up um, one of these long-handled bristle brushes um, because I want I want I want the background to be grey, but I don't want it to be too smooth so I've just added a little bit of white and a little bit of black Mars black to my to my um, brush a little bit more black because I want this grey now I've taken the liberty of putting a quarter gesso or two onto this canvas um, and I put a grey um, ground on because I was going to go grey anyway so uh, but I it was a previously painted um, canvas so I needed to blank it away so I, what I'm doing now is I'm going to add a, a little bit more black as I come along like this and I want this to be painterly I want some brush strokes I want a little bit of that canvas to come through like that so I'm just going to continue adding a little bit more black now into my brush I love these quick little paintings that I do for YouTube. They're really good. Some paintings that I do can take me weeks and weeks and weeks to to do. But for YouTube, I think it's just great to show you as the beginner, or or an intermediate even. Or you you might just want to just paint just for the fun of it, just paint for, to relax, which is what a lot of you are doing. You paint a painting to to relax, which is good. So if you've if you've gone to the trouble of tracing or um, drawing uh, an image onto your canvas, you can put the background in first if you want to. Um, I just just for easy use of my time in the studio, I just tend to just draw it on and paint around it. Uh, there's no right or wrong way. And if anybody tells you it's wrong doing that way, then they obviously have not tried it. That they don't want to do it that way, or it's not the way they've been taught. So it's a bit as simple as that. If you find a way of painting, and you enjoy painting in that way, or in that style, don't anybody put you off and say you can't do it that way, because it might not suit them, but it suits you, and that's the most important thing. I just want to make sure I press my record button, as I did for the sound. 
Just checking my cameras is about it. I've had a bit of an issue with one of them just now. It kept switching itself on and off, and I don't know why. It's because you talk too much, Clive. <laughs> So as I do this, um, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. It's, uh, my diet is going really well. I've currently lost, I think it's um, about 48 pounds in weight. That's quite a lot of weight, 48 pounds. I was a bigger person be like this time last year. I was um, definitely a lot bigger. <laughs> I wanted to be a bit lighter down this end. And as you know, we paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales. Wales is in the UK, if nobody knows. If you don't know where Wales is, Wales is in the UK. So you've got Scotland, Ireland and Wales, and, um, and England, obviously. And um, yes, I'm in Wales. So I'm in the south part of Wales. And it's, uh, it rains all the time in Wales. As if you followed me on, uh, on my other lessons, you might hear some rain on the audio and there's not much I can do about that I don't want this to look too flat so I've actually reached my um, my goal weight now which is um, 12 stone 13 pounds which is about a hundred and is it 82 pound I think 182 pound so I'm happy though I'm happy 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 so the hard work now starts you might think that losing the weight was hard but it's not the hard work now starts in trying to keep the weight off because once you come out of out of your diet or ketosis or whatever this these new words are these days then you'll find that you can put on weight very very quickly because your body will automatically go back into weight storage. So we've got to be careful. We've got to watch what we're eating. We've got to be mindful of what we're eating. We've got to look after our metabolism rate. But we're not here to talk about weight loss. If you want to talk about weight loss or you want any recipes or you, you were thinking of doing it yourself, then pop along to um, Clive's Happy Living and Mindset. Link is in the descriptions below, and in the iCard by there, there's a little card that'll come up now, and it'll and you can pop along and subscribe to that channel. And I put all other little videos on there that are relevant. There we are. To my healthy living and mindset. So enough of me. How is this painting looking? It's looking okay. It's looking okay. It looks. Uh, we'll have to do a black and white painting one day. I think. I think next. I think in the next week or two, because I upload every Monday, as you know, at half past seven, Greenwich Mean Time. Every Monday, there's always a lesson there. And um, don't forget to go to the main channel. If you want any of my any of my lessons at all in the YouTube search bar, just type in hashtag Clive Five Art. That's hashtag. Clive Five Art. All my videos will pop up. And um, pop along to the main channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. If you have subscribed, please click a notification bell, and um, and then you'll get notified every time I upload a video. So I'm just scribbing in some colour. So we'll do a. Um, We'll do a black and white painting soon, I think. Now I'm just lightly brushing over that darker colour. Hopefully you can see that it's just picking up some brush strokes that I put down. And it's just making it, giving it a bit of texture there. There we go. Doesn't look like much, does it? It just looks like a... Just like, looks like a, something that's grey. <laughs> but everything's got a way of working out, especially in the studio. So we don't want to fret about things. If, if, you, if, if you're worried as a beginner, oh, I, that doesn't look right. I'm going to redo that. 
don't go trying to paint over something to start in the dry because you're going to give yourself some problems it's not what you want to do especially with acrylics because we've got a fantastic tool here if i can get it out of my drawer called a hair dryer now i i you can use this if you want to um sometimes i just let things dry naturally but for videos i tend to use a hair dryer and you can do that quite well as well but you've got to make sure that it's absolutely bone dry so i'm going to run this over this um background now for about a minute um, and then i'll come back to you let's give it a second or two to um cool off now you might have noticed that when i was drying it i forgot to paint that little bit there so i've just painted that in as i was doing that just to save some time um yeah because these are those long peppers i don't know what they call them can't for the life of me think what they call them okay so we've got to decide now red peppers are one of my favorite ones and you've got red yellow orange and green peppers and they're all different stages of ripeness so i believe they start off um like a yellow and then they turn orange uh, so no they start off as green then they go yellow then they go orange and then they go red i think i think that's right I'm not too sure but i think that's right but the red pepper is the is the ripest pepper i believe that's what i've been told unless somebody was fibbing to me which doesn't surprise me because people fib to me all the time <laughs> they really do yes yeah we'll, we'll tell clive this fact and then he'll put it out on youtube and we'll all laugh at him <laughs> okay so i'm gonna go i want red because red is my favorite so what i'm gonna do now is i think i'm gonna get some of this lovely cardamom red and i'm gonna mix some burnt umber to it i want to darken the red without putting black to it so adding burnt umber to red is gonna make it a nice dark color and i'm gonna be nice and loose and paintly with this like that and I'm sitting back a bit I'm just getting those brush strokes in like this I want a bit darker there Virgin mainly on burned number actually, I would have thought. Trying to get some darker colour in. Just be a bit loose, be a bit loose with it. I'm going to get some black because now I want to add a little bit of black because I want to darken that color right up because I want to get in here put a little bit of color in there there we go like that and as I said these type of things they do tend to go quite well on craft fairs and things. So we're just blocking in some colour. I'm going to add a bit of yellow to it because I just want to lighten it up a touch. Just to establish a bit of shape because if you notice these things they're all indented see see how the color can you see can you see how the color changes with the light as the light moves over it see how it's dark it's darker there and a little bit of a shadow there like that so you need to you need to look at these things you need to look at these things but you know just just follow your follow your instincts as well You've got artistic talent. Nobody can tell you what to do. Just follow your instincts. 
don't look like much now but once we start getting a little bit of layer building in on the shadows and things you'll see where we are coming from or where I'm coming from with this I want to I want to do it quite thickly painted so was there's there's one already done near enough we've got the undercoat in there anyway that's cool that's all we need to do don't don't have to don't don't work too at it hard at it don't go over brushing things be definite with your brush strokes if you're definite with your brush strokes make a brush stroke accept it live with it I'm only using a very small brush, which is okay for what I want to do. Pepper's wonderful things. Really good for you, actually. I do eat a lot of peppers. Never actually grown them. Um, you can you can grow peppers quite well in a greenhouse, I believe, but um, I've never actually given it much of a a go. My father was a, a, a big gardener because he would have been back in the day, because he he lived obviously through the war and things. So it was it was a big thing for them to have allotments and gardens and greenhouses, and and we don't do that anymore, do we? Not many of us do anyway. I know my friend Jason likes a little bit of gardening and stuff, but um, I've never really been a gardener. But I am tempted next year to to um, get um, one of these like plastic greenhouse things. Hmm. Because I eat a lot of lettuce and stuff now. I eat more lettuce than Bugs Bunny. I'm, I think I've started to grow some ears and buck teeth. <laughs> So let's just get some lighter colour in there, just for now, just to give myself a, an idea. Just laying this colour in. And it'll all start to... You'll see some shapes and things, and it'll all, it'll all, it'll all start to work out. It really will. Um, I'm hoping it will. But we don't know. The point of this is to just enjoy the process of painting and not to get stressed. The less stressed you are when you're painting, the better the result. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna wash that brush. I'm gonna use the same brush now because I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. Do, I'm gonna name green. I think green is gonna be good. Um, red and green opposites so i think a nice green one is gonna is gonna go well here so okay let's get some yellow and add a small touch of black to it no blue small touch of black you can see it starting to go green there you go A bit more black. Maybe a bit of burnt umber. Watch I don't put any red in there. Nice green. Pepper. A bit more black. I want to darken it right up. I've had a few people ask me and say to me that I want to be careful losing so much weight. Um, the the th the thing is, I had a stroke um, about ten years ago. 
and um, my health is very very important as is everybody's health really but oops I picked up some red then okay let's start up a new pile um, it's very important um, because I was I was slowly creeping up my weight was increasing and it wasn't a good thing and I went on a trip with my friend Jason to London uh, last year and I seen a video of myself boy I'll put the video there actually for you have a look at that video and see the difference in me I was I even made a comment myself to say how big I was and I couldn't believe that and I and I thought I really need to to turn my life about and try and change my diet and things and basically we did Me, my, my wife and I uh, I've been working hard to the change our lifestyle and it is a lifestyle change because I, I go out on the push bike now and then I I also got a bike now in the studio which is over there an exercise bike so when it's raining I can't go out on my bike I, I'll, I'll do some work inside I've also do some body weight training as well uh, crunches and press ups and all this type of stuff not bad for an old man <laughs> okay so I've got a little bit of green in that one what I'm gonna do now is um, get some yellow touch of black I don't want this too dark do want this bordering more on the yellow now than anything. I'm just trying to. And to paint that green thing that is there like that I swear it's connected to the to the plant itself it's great like scallopy edged shape I'll be enough for that for the moment again we've got one that's going to be there like that. get some more light Go. And again, let's look at this one. Put that in there. Get a little bit of colour. back. I've only used one brush so far so quite good I think. I get a bit more shape into that one and we'll work on that bit I think. What I'm going to do now is dry that again with a hairdryer because I want to I want to put another layer on top of that rather than pushing paint about so um, I find that's the best way with acrylics okay so I've given that chance to um, dry off it took me a while to actually um, dry that off but you can see it's dried quite matte um, 
and when the paint is wet it's quite glossy so if you wanted to give a little bit of gloss to these you can get um, what they call a glazing medium um, basically it just makes your um, acrylic paint look glossy um, I'm not going to do that now because if I start putting um, a gloss on you it's going to reflect onto the cameras and you're not going to see it as well it's better to leave my paintings matte until I'm ready to do it so I'm, I'm going to work on to um, I'm going to get some more yellow over there I'm going to put some highlights in a little bit now just mixing up a little bit of yellow I'm using a small number 8 um, short flat um, you can buy these on the website um, and I'm just going to put in some highlights where I think the light will possibly hit onto this pepper. There you go. If you wanted to make it a little bit more opaque, because um, cardinum yellow tends to be a bit semi-transparent, semi add a small amount of white to it, not too much, because um, you don't want the, the white to react with the red, which is going to go pink. So, we need just a try and give us a a shiny look let's have a look at the other one okay so we need a thinking of shape and form and forget this the lumpy bumpiness <laughs> lumpy bump it's the lumpy bumpy show <laughs> the lumpy bumpiness of a pepper you can see the way the, the light is catching it they're quite shiny skinned so the best way to cut a pepper is um if you're going to cut the cut the pepper, take the top off, cut the pepper in half, take the little white stuff and seeds out of the inside, because they can be quite bitter, and then um, turn the pepper glossy side down, and then cut it that way with a knife, because if it's glossy side up, it's a little bit more difficult for the knife to actually penetrate the skin. The skin is quite tough, so we're just getting a little bit of. light see there's a little dent indentation that i'm trying to create there and very lightly Blend that in like that. I hope you can see this looking a bit more peppery. Now, I'm going to draw my attention. I'm going to draw my attention. I am. <laughs> I'm going to draw my attention over to this other pepper now. So I'm just going to add a little bit more black to this yellow. Because Mars Black has got blue in it. And it tends to be a really good greens. I love green. I love the green that the Mars Black makes for for me actually, and I, and I I like it for trees and things. So I'm just going to increase some of the dark into this pepper, by leaving a few little light the spots 
around it like that. I want a tight dark down there. And the thing is about painting something like this, it's not perfectly uniform, so you can get away with you know that's what a pepper looks like but there's no, no there's no one pepper the same is there if you think about it one there's not one pepper the same so as long as you as long as people could see it looks like a pepper then it's a pepper good practice if you don't do anything else practice with something like this it will pay you dividends really well a bit of still life sometimes is is better than anything i think so what i'm going to do now is get some yellow add a little bit of white to it don't want to go too light. No, it's a bit light, it's a bit light, it's a bit light. It's more of an olive green. And then just try and get a bit of highlight down. If you go a bit mad, don't worry. There's always a way around things. We can always put a, a little coat of paint over this if if we've got a little bit mad. Like sometimes I go a bit mad, but there's always a way around it. There's always a way around that. I'm going to get a detail brush. Um, this is a uh, number six because I want to get a little bit of moisture on my brush. I'm going to get my stick now because I want to. some smaller highlights in like this it's a bit more yellowy It's okay, that's okay. Let's get some of that dark red. Add a little bit of black to it. Because what we want to do is put a little shadow under there. That's too much paint on my brush. Shadow there, like that. what was that? What just fell off my board? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, going back into this brush, let's just, just give it a quick swell in some water. Um, I want to go back into some cardamom red, a little bit of orange, a bit of yellow. Sorry, not orange. <laughs> I want to make it slightly lighter, and again. increase the little bit of red here and there and at the moment it's looking as if it's just stuck on here it's it's looking a bit flat so we need we need something now to 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 give this a lift because at the moment it's just it's just flat it really is you need to get somewhere now we need to get think of something now to lift this off and make it look as if it's sitting on something. Hmm. All these decisions we have to make as artists. I 
and just keep building and building and building you can do as many layers on that as you want you really can you can go to town on it get a dark green now I might have some peppers for my tea. Doesn't matter what they look like. They just need to be shapes, don't they? I'm just going to put a touch of white on my brush now. And of white there like that. We're going to put a fleck of white there. A bit of white there. A bit of white like that. We can put a bit of light just flickering around like that. Maybe there, there, and there. Yep, I'm not too happy with that one, but if that's what it looks like, that's what it looks like, and that's it. So, if anybody says to you, oh, "That doesn't look like a pepper," well, that's that was the pepper I I drew, so that's the one I had. <laughs> Argue with me. Yes. Okay, happy with that so far. Now I'm going to get my my little short flat again. That's that one. Let's get some grey. Sit it down. Get some off your brush. No, nope, it needs to be a bit darker than that. Put in a shadow line, a very, very thin coat of grey, like that. Again. Very, very thin coat of grey. Darken it just a touch. Let's put a little. Need a bit more dark. A bit more dark. A little bit of shadow. Like that. Spend a little bit more time than I do. Concentrate. Do a few more layers than I do. That's important. And you can improve on this. I have no doubt in my mind how good you are. You can improve on this so well. All you need to do is just take your time believe you can 
and you will. So I'm just going to get a. I want it just slightly darker under there. Let's just put a little bit of shadow plumped over there. Now it looks as if it's actually sitting on something. Do you do you see what I mean? How it lifts it? How a simple little process like that can actually make it a little bit more believable. And then with a damp brush, just try and get rid of these sharp edges. Like that. There we go. My attempt at some still life peppers. Have some fun with that one. Um, if you like what you've seen today, don't forget to click the subscription button it's just down by there. And over there is another video you might like. And also there's a link to my new YouTube channel and um, my website or Patreon. Please click on them to pop along. But until next time, have fun with these peppers. And um, I'll see you in the studio on a Monday at 7.30. Bye.